This is Seth Titchen with Philosophy Bombing 102. Why are we doing philosophy bombs? I've gotten a lot of questions. Seth, this is fantastic. We love it. We're running around. We're putting these things up. Why exactly are we doing this? Good question. People don't really know how to ask questions in their life. We think we do. We have a culture that thinks, oh no, be curious. Right? But, but we don't. Pe people don't know how to take a question and contemplate the underlying nature of it, the condition for the possibility of it. I mean, think about that. The condition, I say that, the condition for the possibility of X, people go, ooh, weird, big. No, it's not big. It's just asking why it is things are the way they are. What is it that makes that possible? But yet, people think you're being strange when you do that. Well, the thing is, that's that's what makes things possible. When you can hold an idea in your head, that's how you open up the possibility of things. Most people go through life not knowing that. When you can put up just one of these little things that we're talking about that are bombs, right? And you put this up, if you can craft it in a way that opens up these questions, if someone sees it in the right way, it can make a difference. The reason we're doing it in this sort of mock subversive way where you're sticking things up and you're doing it in these unexpected places, it's playful, right? Playful, yay, we're dressing up, we're putting on sunglasses and masks and it's playful. Playful is what allows us to consider things in entirely new ways but still have them be meaningful. Play is not just acting randomly. Play is making an entirely new world by the power of your imagination. When we play with ooh, being subversive, we're opening up new ways for people to consider things. This is not about being subversive. Or is it? I think we're the antithesis of being subversive. Really? You know what we're doing here? We're doing things to build community. We're doing things to build conversations. We're doing things to bring people closer together. That's what we're doing. That is subversive. People seem to get the subversiveness of this, of asking good, important questions. They seem to get that. It's fucking crazy that asking questions is subversive today. Like that anybody sees that as ironic or that anybody sees it as funny or that anybody gets it. The fact that they do, it tells you a little something about where we are. Or that somebody thinks it really is subversive. We need to open this stuff up. We need to raise these questions. We need to invigorate our communities because if people think that the way that you participate in a community is by going around blindly following obligations without considering anything, your community is going to die. Your community can't subsist with that. You need to be a moral, active, intelligent, creative member of your community. And this, these philosophy bombs, all they are, it's, a little, it's like a vitamin C injection. It's meant to help you do that. Why are we doing this? Fundamentally, this is about building community. This is about creating situations where people see something in an unexpected situation and they begin to ask questions where they say, you know, why is that the case? Why does language work the way it does? Why is it that art moves us in such a way? Can it lie? Is it capable of, of getting to the truth? When did reality begin? Why do we give authority to religion? If you can help be part of something that raises questions like this, and more importantly, raises intelligent conversations like this, then you are a philosopherian. You are a philosophy gorilla. This is about building communities that can think critically and philosophically about the ideas of the human beings who are part of it. If you like what you see, subscribe. Thanks.